Hey everyone, back again. I am going to do a quick overview of the Pure Track Talent Black gaming mouse pad for you. I'm going to go over the dimensions, um, the rubber backing, the surface, and uh, the glide of the mouse pad. So the dimensions by height are 19 inches, and the uh, width is 14 inches, and the thickness is six millimeters, which in uh, millimeters, the length and width, I believe would be 480 millimeters by 400 or 450 by 400. The The website would have the, uh, PureTrack website would have the exact information for you. And the thickness of the pad, which I'll try to show you right there. There you go, you got a really good view of it. Six millimeters, one of the thicker pads on the market. Okay. And now onto the surface. The surface is completely smooth and free of any micro bumps, which means uh, you know, no 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 deformities in terms of like if you rub your hand across it and you'll feel a bump. There's there's none on the surface that I can feel. And the pad came out of the box completely flat. I know that's a problem with some mouse pads that'll come out not flat, but this one when it came down and I gave it the good like just just like that it was it was pretty much 100 percent flat out of the box so those two things are a really big plus the logo cannot be felt so you don't have to worry about uh rotating the mouse pad upside down right because some people they'll they'll flip this around so that the logo would be here or there or whatever wherever the logo is in that pad so it can't be felt so it's completely fine the rubber backing as you can see here Try and get it to zoom in. There you go. The rubber backing is pretty good. It does not budge whatsoever, as I will show you with my extreme superpowers. No budging, right? Try and. Yeah, there you go, it's not budging. Little little to no movement. So all those things are good, they're all check marks. And the last thing to talk about the pad is the glide, excuse my parrot singing. <laughs> so the glide is a smooth but, uh, but controlled glide. It is not fast. As you'll see when I fling the mouse, it'll stop pretty quickly. So there's not much, there's not too much glide as because some mice when you flick them across they'll fly all the way across and then just continue to roll off. Definitely a lot of control on the glide. You can feel it as you go around. And overall it's a pretty solid pad um, for the price which might be a turn off for people. I believe it's priced around uh, 20 25 to 30 dollars don't quote me on that the price is on the pure track website but i know the total comes out to around 32 to 35 with the shipping from pure track so <clears throat> that's one downside is that it is pretty expensive but it does seem like a really well made pad even though the middle layer isn't completely solid like you'd see on the uh, artisan or the zowie gsr without the stitching but pretty much every other pad has this type of layer the the, the important part is that there's just no bumps on the surface and it comes out flat. So if that price doesn't sound ridiculous to you, um, then overall, I mean, I, I can recommend it for people looking for a controlled cloth pad. It's not it's not super control, like, like going through mud, but it's pretty good. Not much static friction. Um, what else is there to talk about? The slip stick feel, which is like, which is sometimes when you uh, move the mouse and then it feels like it gets stuck before you can make another movement. Uh, I, I can have a small, it can have a small amount of that once it's worn in a bit. Um, but other than that, it was pretty consistent. And uh, it's it's pretty good with dust. I've, I mean, this is this pad was used for over four weeks. And I mean, look, there's just, there's not that much dust. The dust is pretty easy to get off in most cases. And um, that's about it. If you have any specific questions about the pad, feel free to ask. But uh, yeah, it's a good pad, very thick. No quality problems. 
And if you do have quality problems, I know PureTrack is pretty good with their warranty policy in replacing the pad as long as you provide proof. And uh, even if it sounds like it, this review is not sponsored, I bought this product on my own and uh, I used it for about four weeks in both Counter-Strike, Overwatch, and uh, a few other FPS games. And if you didn't know, I'm quite good at all those games, even though you haven't seen me play them, but you're going to have to take my word for it. And um, that's it. Any specific questions, let me know. I hope to make more videos about gear that doesn't have videos in the future. So um, please subscribe so you can be notified if I make a new video, which won't be too often. Or let me know if there's a, a specific product you want covered that isn't covered. Because uh, I don't want to do reviews on products that everyone has a review for. I want to do it on products that don't have reviews, like hard to get products or products that people normally don't buy and review, such as this. Because I, I didn't find many to any reviews on uh, this pad. And PureTrack's been around for a while, if you've never heard of them. It's exactly as it's spelled, puretrack.com, if you want to check them out. Okay, so I'll see you guys all next time, and I hope you enjoyed.